Have we smuggled the other memory crystal into Calpurnia's camp? We have. Here. Ugh. Even honey can't sweeten Philandris. I'll keep trying. You are no slave, Linnea. I'll add another spoonful myself. Later. What have you learned so far? While I found that interesting, this is what you must hear. Master, forgive me. I didn't expect. The time for your ascension is. Tell me of your preparation. They go well enough, although I'm distracted here. If I could train at the shrine. Only Dumont's faithful may enter. Continue with me. Or would you see the Imperium's reverse stalled by your lack of focus? I will be ready, as the vessel, and to Vinter's champion. Just how much training does becoming the vessel involve? Another deflection. A dwarf and as if mine was miraculously returned to me. Let's give your new owner a glimpse of her fate. Venatori, we leave. That is all the crystal recorded before she found it, but I think it may be enough. A shrine to Dumat, Corypheus said, where Calpenia is forbidden to go. Who is this Dumat that Corypheus mentioned? An old god. Worshipped in ancient Devinta as the Dragon of Silence. He was the first to rise as an Archdemon and bring the Blight. Truly a god fit for Corypheus. Corypheus will be on guard once Calpurnia tells him we were listening. I wonder. She may wish to see what we do first. She must realize he's hiding something from her. Let us investigate this shrine. Carefully. I doubt Corypheus has left it unguarded. Ah! Come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Konari and the Inquisition joining forces. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. A 
I thought the Kunari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kune answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change, and a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. All right. Our Kunari contacts should be here to meet us. He is? Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Iron Bull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this venatory cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Tevinter, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Sahara and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatori mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. There might be Venatori mages on the ship as well, if the Dreadnought can't handle them. It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half-dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes. But it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There? And there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. <laughs> nice one. Crap. There are quite a few of them. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. 
You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashov. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashov. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? I regret that we couldn't protect the Dreadnought. So do I. No way they'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Bo, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. Come on, let's get back to my boys. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoff ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. You all right, Bo? Yeah. Guess I'll have more free time without having to write all those reports. Bo. Boss, let me have this one, all right? This one needs to be mine. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. How did the Chargers come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to fall back. The Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the Chargers tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. You wanted to see me? Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming? Little change in the guard rotation tipped me off. Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrath training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you with the guards, the assassins would have been tipped off. Are you alright? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek, liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. I hoped the Ben Hasrath would let you go. They did. 
Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talvashoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. You acted like a Talvashoth for years. That didn't change you. Neither does this. That was just a role. This is my life. As one of those. I've killed hundreds of Talvashoth in Saharan. Bandits, murderers, bastards who turn their back on the cube. And now I'm one of them. You're not a Talvashoth. That's a Kunari word, and you don't follow the Kuhn any longer. You're Iron Bull, mercenary captain for the Inquisition. I can live with that. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, Whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Please, don't stop on my account. All right, your move. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well, unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Now the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings. Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We should spend more time together. I would like that. Me too. You said that. We should finish our game, right? My turn? I believe this one is yours. Well played. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? The Duparakets used to be noble. You'd be restoring an old house of Orlais. <laughs> restoring it far too late. What are the Duparakets now? Traders? Farmers? Really, it is too much. The very thought causes me pain. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort?
information. Unless you believe your sources better than agents of the Inquisition. Normally, I wouldn't trust your discretion. But the left hand of the Divine is working for you, is she not? Sister Leliana is a resourceful woman. I could certainly make use of her talents. Very well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain, I shall... raise the Duparakets into Lordship. I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. They also send their compliments on how handily you dispatched their agent pretending to be the Comte. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them, that you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer? Bards entertain the Orlesian courts. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. You seem a bit... steady for such an outgoing lifestyle. <laughs> the life of an entertainer didn't suit me at all. During one particular intrigue, I encountered a bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bard threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. He seemed willing enough to murder you for the game. Perhaps. I feel I'm the last to judge whether or not he would have actually used the blade. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. Your skills truly benefit the Inquisition. We wouldn't want to lose you. Well, House Montillier will always be grateful to you. And should you ever visit Antiva, Stories of the welcome we'll give you will be told for years. What is this? Who are you? Magister Eresthenes, am I a scholar of Timinter? To Corypheus, I am bound to answer every question. Gersenius, <laughs> I am lost. I need information. You'd like to be free. We could negotiate. 
Oh, to be free. You see what he has made of me. I was the greatest scholar of the old gods in Minrathus. No, in the Imperium. One night, he came to my door. For my relics, I thought, my writings, runes. But instead, my slave went to his side, Calpurnia, to become the vessel that saved Tivinta. Now Corypheus and Calpurnia threaten us all. Stand against them with me. No, no, it is Calpurnia who will be destroyed. Corypheus crafts a vessel for whatever power he seeks, yes. But he does not need his vessel to have free will. About her, these same chains will fall. I am to cage lightning. My blinding is the poor pencil sketch. Campania will be the masterpiece. Corypheus couldn't risk Calpurnia's spies bringing her the truth. No fool he, nor she. Oh. This chain has broken me, friend. No wings can raise my mind. Please, breach the circle. Its wards will trigger. I will be dust and light, free and we lose a source of intelligence on our greatest enemy. I am bound, chained, nailed to the truth. I told it. All right. You seem honest, and you've suffered enough. Light a lamp, would you? The reports from our agents at the shrine are intriguing. You were correct. Once Calpurnia becomes the vessel, she will lose her freedom. Forgive me, but I wish you hadn't been so quick to throw the Enspelled Magister away. Erasthenes was suffering. He'd already told me everything. We can never be certain now. Corypheus's notes mention a place where regret dwells. That is more of a mystery. Until the notes are deciphered, I intend rumors of the binding ritual to reach Calpurnia's ears. Breaking her alliance with Corypheus can only help us. Breaching his sanctum might give Corypheus pause, yet Calpurnia is silent, as are her agents. We have given her something to think about. Any luck charting the area? I did what I could, Your Worship. This space has nothing but... space. If there's nothing valuable here, I say let Corypheus have it. I'm sure there's something deadly and enchanted and so on underneath all this sand. I did find something for you. Old dwarven ruins, on the surface. Impossible, but there you go. The Venatori are excavating them, with the help of their slaves. Whatever they want, we must beat them to it. I just saw Venatori northwest of here. They might be a good start. I found this map on a dead one. Maybe it shows where they're headed. Good luck. Visitor, welcome to the Western Approach. We've cited warden activity to the southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. 
One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. In short, this might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. Well, it's good to know what I'm in for. Sorry I don't have more for you. We intercepted a Venatory messenger and, uh, persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. We have them here. This entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. You sent for me, Inquisitor. Knight Templar Delrin Barris. We've gathered to review your military service to the Inquisition. You showed exceptional valor defending the people of Valkaline from Venatori, and broke a siege of demons in Ansberg. You stood against an entire town that wanted to kill a mage for imagined demonic possession, without raising a sword. In thanks for your service and your help at Therenfall Redoubt, I endorse your promotion to Knight Commander of the Templar Order. Your Worship, I... I am not worthy. Your service has restored more faith in the Templars than speeches ever could. I pray to Andraste to serve many years more. Templars, Will you take Sabaris as your Knight Commander? Before you is service of the Minrathus Circle of Magi. You met him and his Venatori in the Western Approach. He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters and using magic to conquest. He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the approach, without his master's consent. Whether or not he's loyal to Corypheus has no bearing on his crimes. I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, your worship? I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain with us? Bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Tavinta who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor, and I can put them all at your disposal. People have died because of you. Letting you walk free would be an insult to their memory. Throw him in the prison. We may question him later. Imprisonment? For how long? Inquisitor! Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of Fade Rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach, on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. Do you know anything else about the region? They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal who perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? What was done to the elves here was unforgivable. Never again. At least I hope not. Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Oh, one other thing. You've tangled with the Freemen of the Dales before. They have a presence here. Watch your back, Inquisitor.
Inquisitor. Scout Harding. We're on the outskirts of Sarnia. This is what's left of the town. The lucky ones got out before the river froze over. The rest, penned in by Fade Rifts and Red Templars. We're the first friendly face they've seen in a long, long while. How did an entire river freeze so quickly? It got really cold, really quickly. Sarnia relies on its river for everything. Trade, food... They weren't expecting this. Do you know why the Red Templars have come here? Can't tell you much. The Templars have outposts all through the hills. Our scouts haven't been able to get through. It probably has something to do with the local stone quarry, though. A lot of the workers went missing after the Red Templars moved in. I should look in on the townsfolk, see what they can tell me. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. The Red Templars have been mounting frequent attacks. They won en plus du Lyon. Bad. Let's get out there and take it back from them. Mistress Pullin of Sarnia is accused of aiding and abetting the Red Templars in the Dales. She sold a quarry to them for a handsome sum. They used the quarry to grow red lyrium by enslaving townspeople. The only extenuating circumstance, Mistress Pullin was procuring supplies to keep the remaining townspeople fed. If you'd like to explain your intentions, speak. My crime was misjudgment. The land sale was meant to bring prosperity in hard times. Surely it was clear you were selling to the enemy. We were starving, and they told me they'd reopen the mines. Selling the quarry so hastily was a mistake. I did what I could to rectify it. I can't let you go free, but I can give you an honest living. Mistress Poulin, I sentence you to work as a scribe of the Inquisition. Half your wages will go to the town of Sarnia. A drudge? On this cold rock? As you command. 